now we are going to enter into the basic instruments concept that is pmm cmi energy meter watt meters and all so before entering into all those instruments we need to know some basic concept about all these things that is like uh, in any instrument we just have to develop deflection torque then automatically control torque will be produced and also damping force will also be produced okay you need to design an instrument such that you can produce deflection torque okay anyways if you use that uh, control mechanism that control torque will be produced similarly if you use damping technique so like there are many damping and control techniques that you can apply and in each instrument that can vary we will discuss that like which method we are going to use for instruments in that particular instrument discussion okay so okay and initially when pointer of an instrument is at zero position that means there are no forces okay no forces in that instrument then when we are closing the switch okay when we are closing the switch there will be deflection control and damping all the forces will be there when you are after closing the switch then at steady state that means it is showing one reading when the pointer is showing you some reading without oscillating that means it has reached steady state at that particular point there will be two forces that is damping and control because if there is no control it will not stay at one point and now as i am saying that is at steady state that means no oscillations are also there that means no damping is there okay so only td and tc will be there at steady state then again after opening the switch you are going to have control torque okay because as soon as you open the switch it will not going to come to zero position so as soon as you open there will be control torque then again at zero position after it has come to zero pointer position there will be no forces that means back to the initial position where no forces are there in the instrument then coming to the damping torque you need to consider which one is effective which type of damping is effective and which you need which one you need to prefer so coming to the effectiveness eddy current fluid eddy current is effective then fluid and fluid is effective then air but coming to the free preference we are preferring eddy current over other two but we are going to prefer air than fluid even though fluid fluid damping mechanism is effective than air we are going to use or prefer air than fluid because of some advantages you find out the those advantages but this is true okay right so in the next class we will begin with the permanent magnet moving coil instrument that is pmmc right thank you